Welcome to another episode of Culture Shock. My name is Sean Galloway, the president of ProAct Safety. I'd like to share a story with you, a story that reflects the importance of helping employees take safety home now. There are many organizations that we work with that unfortunately do not connect the dots to see how what we do in safety at work, how it applies to keeping ourselves safe at home. In a lot of countries, yours including, there are facts that state that you are much more likely to get injured away from work than at work. So we don't want to just focus on what we do to keep people safe at work. We want to focus on what they can do to keep themselves safe regardless of where they are. Now, the importance of this video is because I want to convey the message that help them see what they can do now rather than years from now. There's a site that we were working with many years ago, and we helped develop a very effective team to go out and accomplish a lot of things in their safety culture. Well, we came back recently to visit this site because we're working now on some things with the leadership because they'd had some turnover. Well, as we were about to show up at the site, we found out that the chairperson of this team that we had helped develop several years ago wanted to spend some time with us, wanted to meet with us. We met with this individual. His name is Anthony. He had worked at the site for about 25 years. He had always been involved in safety, and he told us that he was actually planning on telling us that he had decided to get off of the safety committee, get off of the team that they had. And the reason was he has two young kids that are, that are taking up a lot of his time and he wants to dedicate more of his discretional time to his kids rather than all the things that he would do at his discretion away from work to find new ways to improve safety. A really passionate guy about safety. But he's gotten really busy with the other important elements of his life. Well, he was all prepared to come and meet us on Monday and explain the rationale on why he wanted to get off this team because he knew how passionate we were about helping the site be, continue to be successful in safety. But he told us a story about something that happened over the weekend. Anthony had finally convinced his young son, Alan, who's about 15 years old, to get off the couch and help him mow the lawn. Took a little bit of convincing. Maybe you've run into that with your kids. Took him some time, convinced him, and he was out in the garage, Anthony was, and he heard his son turn the lawnmower on, and a couple minutes later, he heard it turn off. Now thinking, I wonder if something's wrong with the lawnmower, his son comes walking into the garage and he asks his son, Alan, is everything okay? Alan's response to him was, oh, everything's fine, I just forgot my personal protective equipment. Anthony was a little taken aback, wow, he didn't even realize that his son was using PPE like this every time that he had mowed the lawn which is fabulous. He then told us a story that the same weekend, he was sitting there Sunday morning reading the Sunday paper, and his daughter, who's 16, came over to him and said that she wanted to go to the mall and do what most teenage daughters do, spend their parents' money. And she wanted to know if it was okay to go with some of her friends because she didn't have a car yet. And he said that that was fine. Later on in the morning, her friends came and picked her up, and she left. About 15 minutes later, she comes walking into the door and he asks his daughter, is everything okay? And she responded with, oh, everything's fine, but I'm not going anywhere with those idiots because none of them will wear their seatbelt. He said at that moment, it finally made sense to him. All the things that he had been doing in safety, it had truly made an impact on his personal life. That's exactly the kind of story that we want our employees telling about safety. We want them to see how what they do at work and what they learn, how it can be applied to their family members as well. Just don't wait for them to realize that 10, 15 years in the future. Help them realize that now. If you have any comments that you'd like to share, there's several different ways to do so. You may post a comment here at Canadian Occupational Safety Magazine's website. You can email me at info at proactsafety.com or please visit my podcast and blog site at www.safetycultureexcellence.com and leave your comments there. Thank you for all that you do. See you next time.